you will never find a better sparring partner than adversity <laughs> yeah, all the martial artists knows all the boxers and the wrestlers knows about sparring but the normal people doesn't know about sparring yes when you get an opposite partner anybody can be picked up in a in a day in the practice session will be 10 or 20 or 30 that you fight right is a tactics and techniques that makes you very strong but at the end of the uh, sparring you hold your hands and say thank you very much thank you very much because the best techniques the partner the opposite sparring partner should hit you that is japanese method and when they hit you you know your weakness you go back and you practice and you say thank you to him because he he did his level best and you knew your weakness you can go and strengthen those weakness but in europe when i went to europe that tactics was very different they said if i hit you soft you hit me soft when i hit you hard you hit me hard that way you are now never going to become strong <laughs> sparring better gold than this gold of me born in third may 1998 in ukraine died on 8th december 1978 in Jerusalem was an Israeli politician teacher and kibbutznik it who served as the fourth prime minister of Israel from 1969 to 1974 she was Israel's first and only female head of government the first female head of government in the middle east and the fourth elected female head of government or state in the world you will never find so adversity whenever adversity means whenever there is a blockage when whenever there is a problem in the in the family that your relatives started talking something bad you must immediately take it as an advantage and go for a sparring <laughs> yeah tit for tat never mind at the end you must always tell them this is only to strengthen both uh, us not to carry the it and that helps you because a lot of people are watching the nature is watching that's only one thing you can hold in your health if somebody points a points to you that you are fat somebody points out to you telling that you are weak then it is your duty to go back because a lot of people are watching they didn't have the energy and the guts to tell you that story yes somebody pin points you you don't fight i don't tell you that don't fight spar with them yes till they they uh, squeeze out the last drop of your talent from your body they might not squeeze or they might try to pin point thinking that is a fault because everybody knows the each of cows if one drop of milk is left in the udder of the each cup the cow will fall sick so one drop of your best talent is left in your body before you go to sleep you will fall sick hence you must feel very thankful to the person and you must go not that you don't fight you you fight sometimes if you don't have guts to fight with the person to spar you spar yourself to correct that mistake that you sweat it out and give your very best your yes, skeletal muscle in the body you will never find a better sparring partner than adversity yes even if there is no adversity create that adversity yes you can strengthen not only really. when you strengthen yourself you you strengthen your family the joint family and the family tree yes and then you can see the love spreading like a powerful magnet covering these three subjects heaven and earth man in the center and then once that is strengthened then nobody else can touch you you will never find a better sparring partner than adversity that is the gold if you cannot feel that is a gold if you cannot allow your opposition members to squeeze out and pinpoint your fault then there is no better gold if you can't find this gold if you cannot polish your the totality of your body your spirit 
You can't find any gold because any gold which you find is lost. Because people will be there to grab it. This gold of yours will only follow. Money follows you. Gold follows you. People follows you. You will lead and not yield to pressure. Golda Mia said you will never find a better sparring partner than I do. I loved it. I love sparring. A lot of sparring. At the end, I always find it is better. There was one. Uh, one sparring partner I got in Indranagar, that is uh, next to my Indranagar school, there's a uh, haters association, which they call it as a residence association. Uh, one, one female was elected as a president. She, she was very sweet to us. She was taking care of our brownie and even snowy. Yes, so much, a uh, lo lot of love and taking care of my children and all. And suddenly, recently, she became straight opposite. <laughs> She went and told the BDA, Rakum is a, what do you call, grabber, a land grabber. I told, no, no, I'm not a land grabber, I'm a heart grabber, I'm a love grabber, I'm a grabber of the poverty. I just try to go deep inside the poverty, grab the poverty and the poverty runs away to become powerful, rich, as the children reaches to the post-graduation level to find jobs. Then I was thinking, why am, why am I getting angry with that person who went to the BDA and said, Throw Rakum out from Indra, demolish Rakum. She started calling my owners and uh, started telling, remove Rakum from the building. I thought she must be mad, she must be sent to the uh, Nimhans. Then I found, yes, one of my good friends told me, remove this, uh, cut this one, cut that one. So we were forced to cut some of the trees. That must have provoked them. And actually, I don't want to disturb any trees. I, I wanted to bring the JCP, I want to bring the lift and uh, what do you call uh, transplant it up beautifully in a beautiful place but my friend never allowed it I think that provoked it and the, the person at the back said was fighting a case with us for 14 years then I looked he must have provoked them and then right in front of the boys hostel there was another three trees my friend uh, of course political friend forced me to go cut, go cut. I said, no, 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 you have to take uh, forest uh, uh, person's uh, permission. Forest department did not give us permission. Still, they went to cut and then the trouble started from there. They thought, me, Raghu is a grabber. He is forcing things. No, 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 no. I found that it's a very good partner. I try to understand. I went deeper. When you somebody attacks you, you first find out where the root cause of disease. I found out the root, root cause of disease. Yes, we allowed our friend to provoke them before we allow a friend we have friend or relative whoever it is we have to be very much sure whether we we are under control when we are under control trouble doesn't come if trouble comes also never mind you find better ways but don't get angry with the with the opposition leader who who pinpoints fault on us we should build up a much better way you will never find a better sparring partner than adversity. Yes, adversities are there wherever I go. Because I will never allow anybody to un unless interfere into my uh, children's life, into my ashram's life. Yeah, because we are doing a wonderful job. <laughs> Working very hard. That is a wonderful job. And uh, we do not uh, unnecessarily uh, interfere in other business because we don't have uh, time for other business. Our children itself is a big business. <laughs> from uh, uh, post, uh, uh, kindergarten to post-graduation and getting them jobs, getting them married, then the, our Goshala, the mother in, in the Ina Goshala, the huge amount of cows to be taking, almost like this kind of children. Then the land is there, then the yoga classes are, then the karate classes are, then the music, the dance, then the bhajan, the satsang, then the seva for the elderly people. <laughs> Where we have time for others. And if it all somebody comes, yes, that adversity will correct it up. Yes, we took the guts. Take the guts. Don't get angry with the opposition or the adversities, the problems which come in your life. Take it as a boom to correct yourself because they are pinpointing. Allow them to pinpoint, but fight it to the last drop that you drop. And remove the last drop of your talent before you go to sleep because every one day is a beautiful day. Every one day you make a beautiful growth and 365, 365 days of beautiful, 365 varieties of growth. That is what I'm talking, I'm telling to the public to tell the politicians, talk about the growth 365 days into four years years or five years, how many uh, varieties of growth you have done it. 
connect our family back to joint family to family connect us to the solar and the rainwater harvesting that is our biggest success story that should be our sparring partner <laughs> together we can create more better leaders